Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today's video is kind of a review manicure of a new brand that I've never heard of before until just last week. Bombshell Nail Co. I love their branding. It's really simplistic and gorgeous and it like shows in their stickers on their packaging which also matches their website. So I really like that. So I'm taking out the three dips that they sent to me and already I love these jars. Look at those pink lids, they're so cute. And the font they chose for their logo, I love this. It's really, really adorable. So you can see their logo and on the bottom they have the name of the color and their website. I think that attention to detail to putting your website on there is really, really smart. So I'll never forget where to shop. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm unboxing all of this. I'm going to put on some peel base on my nails and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I swatched all of these and put peel base on my nails, so I'm ready to show you the swatches. This first color is called Plush Pink. It's a nice, shimmery, perfect pink. Just look at it. It's adorable. I'm definitely using this one on my mani today. This next color is called Rose Quartz. It's a beautiful milk bathy color with rose pink and gold foil that's also being used in my manicure today. And this last one, I absolutely love this foil. I'm obsessed with it. I love the whole green and pink vibe, but this one's not gonna be in this mani today, but maybe in the future. So to get started, I'm just gonna do my regular dip routine. As always, I'm using peel base on my nails. I'll have that all linked below. If you guys are interested in any of the products I'm using today, everything is going to be linked below. And if I have any available discounts, that's also going to be in the description box below. So I'm putting on my peel base and then I'm just going to dip in this pink color. It's going to go on three of my five nails today. How can I believe you when everything you see see Things could only get better I need it more than ever They don't, 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 don't I recently got a brand new bottle of dip liquid and if you guys have watched my first ever review of the triple d dip liquids like my liquids test with that you'll remember that i my only gripe about it was if it was so thin that it was hard for me to control well i know <laughs> that for this mani i i think i was getting a little sloppy so going around my cuticles and everything, there was a little too much overflow. So that was definitely a user error on my part. So we're gonna clear and encapsulate these three nails because there's a gorgeous shimmer in the pink. I wanna protect that. And I also wanna make sure I don't buff it out. And I don't know if this color is buffable. You know how certain colors, like it can lose its pigment if you buff too much of it? Yeah. Well, lately this has become my favorite clear. It's by Manny Boss. She sells the mini jars, and I believe the bigger size she sells is a one ounce size. 
So if you guys are in the market for a gorgeous clear, I highly recommend the Manny Boss one. We're gonna get into the other two nails, but first I wanna talk about these. So I thought my thumb was like the worst of all application. Turns out I was wrong, that one's the best. My index finger is a little lumpy towards the cuticle area and my pinky finger is just like there's mountains on it. I don't know what I did. So I'm pulling out my drill. This drill is trash to be honest. It's going in the garbage when my triple D one gets here. Um, but I'm using this little bit to kind of like try to file it down, smooth it down. Uh, I should have used a different drill bit to be honest. This one's good for like filing the surface to make everything kind of like smooth, but not really that great for like debulking a certain area. And I learned that, so I switched my drill bits. So I have this dome bit. It's a fine, it's fine grit. So it's not taking off a lot of product because I don't want it to eat through all my dip powder. I just want to be able to debulk where my cuticle area is. And I love the dome on it because it doesn't hurt my skin. So if you're looking for cuticle bits to get into, I highly recommend any with like the dome on the top so it doesn't touch your skin. So I debulked a little bit. I think I did all right there and on my pinky, but I do need a little bit more work. So I do wanna take a moment and just focus on my cuticles. I'm taking the ergo file and I'm really just rounding out the cuticle areas of my nails. I've done this in a lot of my recent videos. So you guys are probably over already familiar with it, but it just, it's so gentle because it doesn't hurt your skin at all. And I have ultra sensitive skin. But if you don't use a nail drill, the debulking process can be done with a hand file. And I just want you to know that you do not need a drill to do your nails. It was just, I wanted to get it done quickly. But if I were to use a hand file, I would have literally just used a worn out file. That way it doesn't eat away at my dip powder. And um, yeah, cause I've done that before. I've taken like a fresh file and it eats at your dip powder and it also eats at your skin. <laughs> Sucks. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would have done that with a hand file. I would have taken, I have a really, really worn out one from Triple D. Uh, I keep this around just for situations like this. And I just like run it around the cuticle area, not on my actual skin, but the dip powder area that's around my cuticle and I'm just going to focus it around there and then when I'm done with that I take a buffing block and I buff out any of the scratch marks that the hand file left but that is good for today so we're done with the filing process so you know when you're in the middle of a manicure and you had a plan and you don't execute the plan because you decide to go on a wild god knows what to do something else that's what i did here today so i was gonna do these two fingers fully in this color and i decided you know what i don't color block to save my life why don't i just throw some color blocking in here because i'm not good at it i don't practice it i don't color block often so why not so i'm gonna do that twice on this finger and we're gonna also clear cap that as well You were probably thinking, color block, what the hell? I don't see a color block. Well, I'm doing it right now. I'm not even using tape or anything. I just took my dip liquid brush, my base balm brush, and I just kind of like drew half of the nail, painted it on, dipped, and while that's still wet, that's when I take like this tool and I just kind of like carve out the line to make sure it's solid all the way across. And then I'm repeating that two times. So I just dusted all that off. So now I'm taking my base bond liquid and I'm focusing it on the upper half. I haven't activated any of this, by the way. 
So I'm <laughs> focusing it on the upper half, and if anything gets on the pink area, I just wipe it off with my finger. It's okay, and I do this two times as well. I will say it is kind of messy, so you want to clean up your cuticle area ASAP after you do this, or else your dip liquid is going to get stuck. Yes, um, I don't know, maybe I should have done it the other way, so the white portion should have been done first and the pink last, maybe? I don't know. You learn your lessons, you move on. So I'm going to clear cap these again with my favorite clear dip powder, the uh, Manny Boss Clear, and I'll come back when I'm done. How can I Okay, so clear capping is done. I activated, filed, shaped, and buff. It is a little um, crusty up in here because I have super dry skin and it's winter. So I decided to obscure the line of the color blocking because it's not perfect. I didn't use tape. I'm going to use this tape. What, what kind of tape is this called? I forgot the name of this tape. It'll come to me in a second. But I'm going to use this tape. It's gold. It matches the gold foil in the dip powder. It's so gorgeous. And I'm just going to put it right over the line that divides the pink and the foil dip powder. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to super glue that right on there. So I got these little cute little dainty scissors from Shayna. She sent them to me and she said it reminded me of her. It reminded her of me. So I'm like really excited. They're tiny. They're sharp. They're super cute. I just love being able to have an adorable pair of scissors to use during my Manny videos. So thank you so much, Shayna, for that. So I already pressed down the stri striping tape. It's striping tape. Oh my God, guys, <laughs> I swear. So the striping tape, I pressed it down. I added base bond and then I added activator. And now I'm going to hold down the edges until it completely glues itself in place. I'm going to repeat that. I put down the striping tape. I covered it in base bond liquid and then I immediately put activator on that and I try to hold down the edges so that the striping tape does not lift off. Does that make sense? I had someone recently message me asking me for advice on how to use striping tape with dip powder. So that's also kind of like why I decided to use it in this mani. So I wanted to give it a whirl, see if it would work in my dip mani and I think it worked great and it's not too thick either. So I just activated my nails. I'm about to go through my top coat process. I've talked your head off this entire video. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm such a chatty Kathy today. I do not know how to shut up. <laughs> so I'm in love with this manicure and to combat my dryness, I'm applying cuticle oil because it's winter and my skin is just always so dry. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you liked about this video and what else you want to see in the future. Alright, bye!